Hey, hey, hey. Sunday night. Here we are again. <coughs> A little sage going on right there. It's the summer solstice. It is the summer solstice. Come on in and enjoy me. We're going to talk about guidance for this week, what's going on in the cosmos, align our energy, and look to the cards for guidance. Come on in and join me over here on Facebook in the Empowered Spirit Circle, as well as Natural Forces. I'm going to come over here to Instagram and start the feed as well. Come on in. Let me know you're here. What did you do for the summer solstice? Let me know. What did you do? All right. Here we go. Instagram. Got a fun filter on Instagram. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Instagram. I'm over here on Facebook as well, streaming to both. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the summer solstice. What did you do for the summer solstice? What have you been doing? Let me know. What a beautiful day. Lots of rain yesterday. So much to talk about. So take a moment with me take a breath gather your energy from the week and we'll begin welcome everyone Terry Ann Hyman here this is my empowered spirit show where I come on live we talk about the cosmos the podcast really anything at all out into the universe we align our energy we get ready for the week ahead so welcome everybody lots going on for me I have to admit just lots going on getting back out in the world working with my tarot deck yay we've been having so much fun we have one last week for the campaign. All right, my boot camp's been going on. All the things are just starting to come back around in a new season. I love the transition of seasons. Let me know if you do too, for sure. All right, so I want to start with the game, the tarot teaching moment. Every day I've been doing this. I think we're on like day 20 almost. So I talk about the archetype. You can play, tag somebody for a chance to win. All right, let me know what you think. So, I am the archetype of the judge. I am the judge. All right? The giver and the informer, the one that balances the energy. I can also be recognized as the critical mind within yourself. It's definitely an energy that when it comes up, look at your karma. Look at what's going on. Perfect for right now, right? Look at what's going on. And just kind of ask yourself about the energy you're setting out there and see where you need to find that balance. Who am I? I am the judge. Post below. Let me know what you think. I'll be revealing that tomorrow. All right. I love playing the game. We have so much fun. One of the things that I have not talked about with the tarot cards is the reverse cards. When they come up, the energy of the reverse, and sometimes that can fool people a little bit, and most of my teachers... Most of my beginning tarot classes always say, don't worry about it. Just turn them all around. You still get the essence of the reading. And you can do that. You really can. You can just turn them around, face them up. And even in this deck, with the way Laurie and I designed it, you do know what is up and what is down. So you can actually kind of set that up in your hands if you want. As you start to learn, then you can go deeper into looking at the reversals of energy. The reversals being... Kind of the opposite meaning, it's energy underneath the surface. That's how I always started looking, like underneath the surface, that kind of thing. So that's a little bit of a tip on how to read the reversal cards and understand more about the tarot. All right, I've certainly had so much fun doing this all week. The Indigo campaign has one week left. We've been enjoying all the energy coming forward, all the amazing comments. We got shared over in France, and so it's been a lot of fun. I've been on podcasts, and I really do find that using the tarot can really help you slow down, ask questions, look at energy that you may not have looked at if you only use the logical mind. And one of the things I love to say, it's like having a therapy session with your spirit. So definitely check it out. All right, on the podcast this week, I had a great guest, Deb, Cunning, Deb, Deb Cummings Stellata. She talked about helping women shift and pivot, really showing up for themselves. She works with the idea of an energy, um, layers of energy, and just helping them to like, appreciate exactly where they were that then can help them shift into making the pivots and shifts that we all need so it's a great podcast really had fun and one of the things she said which i agree 
100% is that women who use their intuition are better able to make the pivots and the shifts more accurately when they use that gift, that ability, that skill, which is what we've been talking about all week in the intuitive path. There are still chances to check out the um, lives both on Facebook and Instagram. They will come down. The intuitive path will start and join me in the summer sessions. DM me, schedule an upgrade, call with me, and I will discuss the program for you as well. We've had lots of fun in the boot camp too. All right, so that's what's going on with that. This today marks the summer solstice. It comes in pretty late, so some people are actually celebrating it tomorrow. You may see both. I don't know why it's just not clear cut, but that's the way that the uh, planets revolve, right? But it is tonight and tomorrow, shift of season. I love the shift of seasons. It allows you to reset your energy, allows you to come back on your path, and then you open up to the energy that the season offers. It's also a great way to look at the energy that's come forward. We've worked with the spring, creating, planting. Now we kind of let the weeds go, right? That's what we do in our garden. And then we focus on what we really want to grow. But we have to have patience in summer. All right? We can't just like sit there, grow, 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 right? I think there was like a little mem, like the blades of grass. Don't say that. So we have to sit back. We have to connect with Mother Earth. We have to open up to having some of that energy that lets you be patient, what lets you also be aware that things are growing. So what do we do in the summer? We connect with Mother Earth. We get out in the water. It also is representing the medicine with the element of water. So we do go a little deeper, all right? We look at our intuitive abilities. We move to the energy of cancer, which is exactly where the sun moves today, all right? And then we move into Leo, which is some of that sun, that bright energy into Virgo, which is more of the grounding. But we do start with bringing up, and I always like to look at the energy underneath that as well. Some of that emotional energy, some of that is related to the divine feminine. All right, I call it, and I've been doing this a couple of years, like the wild woman energy. Let that out. Let yourself open up. Go crazy, right? Get naked, whatever you want to do. Like, get out on Mother Earth and really appreciate the long days. Although, the thing is, is once we get to the solstice, it is the longest day. And then they do start getting shorter, but we still have this week and the next couple of weeks to really appreciate all the extra time we feel like. Get outside, really appreciate it. Ground with Mother Earth. Bring that divine feminine forward. Like really open up the lower chakras. Open up the second chakra. Be more creative. Be more like fun, right? That kind of energy. So we definitely have that coming in. The direction for the medicine wheel is the south, all right? So what do you think about when you go to, into the south? Like you do feel the heat, you do feel the fire, you do feel the sunshine. All of these things can help you really get into the energy of the season all that much better. That is for sure. Now we have a full moon coming up. Wednesday, I believe it is. Tuesday, Wednesday. I do believe it is Wednesday. And it's a full moon in Cancer. Don't don't quote me. It could be Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. I think the 24th. All right. And we have a full moon in Capricorn. All right. So we have the sun in Cancer, full moon in Capricorn. That will actually help you to ground a little bit. That will actually help you to ground some of this. It's going to ask you to pull your energy in, all the emotional energy. Capricorn also brings in an energy that can help you with discipline and get things done. All right, so like this is a great time to up your physical activity outside, up your diet, eat better, clean it up, eat lighter for summer, right? So it's going to be a time that's going to help you kind of stick to it as you move through this full moon. So the light is building, it's building, it's building. We're still working through a lot of that eclipse energy. We really are. Things are coming out. Like just careful, careful, careful. Remember the archetype of the card we just said, right? Like really watch your boundaries. Really be open to the seasonal shift. And know where you sit with that. Know what's going on for you. Mercury retrograde goes direct on the 21st, which I guess is um, the next day or two. I am kind of lost in the dates right this moment. But uh, it does start to move out. We just heard of a really bad wreck today, too, in Alabama here. So just careful as the energy starts to move out, go direct. Sometimes that creates all that, you know, shift of energy. So careful, careful, careful with that as well. I do think that as we start to move into July, we're going to get out more, we're going to feel better, and we're going to really start to be able to open up to some of that more direct energy, all right? I definitely feel that coming up. We have a lot of things that are planned, although we don't get to go to Canada. They don't have the borders open yet. But at any rate, that is the energy coming forward as we move through this week. 
So notice a full moon. All right, you guys know me. I'm always like careful of that full moon. My energy body gets really big. And for me, that means I have to practice my energy skills even greater. My emotional body gets big. I can be a little like, all right, some of that energy. So just careful. All right, mind your energy, ground it. And do take some time between now and even that full moon as it starts to come up, like do some kind of ceremony for yourself. Do some kind of ritual that acknowledges the end of one season and opens up to the other and all of the cosmic forces that we have going on right now. I do find we can find that alignment for ourselves. We just feel better. We feel the depth of our energy and it really can inspire you to open up, make whatever shifts and changes. We all have the shifts and changes to make, right? We really do. And maybe you can find a way to do that for sure. All right. So let's see. I'm just checking here. Hey, I haven't done summer solstice, preparing it for tomorrow. Yes, some people switch on the East Coast and others will be celebrating it tomorrow because it comes in late. Wherever you are with it, even again, like I said, up until the full moon, I think you have the time to do it, do something, have fun. We've been kind of doing a few ceremonies along the way. All right. So that's definitely for sure going on. So let's take a moment. Set the energy, set an intention for you as we open up and move into this beautiful season and all the cosmic forces going on. So wherever you are, if you can, take a moment, close your eyes, take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Ah, calling in your energy, presencing your spirit, just centering from the week. Inhaling up the body and exhale all the way back down deep into the earth. Present your spirit, presencing mind, sending energy out, connecting with the greater spirit, source, creator, God, however you look at that. Feel that energy right into the heart. Know that you're known, know that you're loved, know that this change of season of season will bring you the changes you seek as well. Calling in all your spiritual helpers, the teachers, the Reiki masters, the archangels, the crystal beings. Calling in your own spirit guides. We ask that they work with us and through us to surround us and protect us as we open up to this new season. And just take a moment and set an intention. Maybe you've already set one. You can then just refer, reaffirm it, confirm it. Maybe you haven't. What do you want this season to hold for you? And then just send it out right through that third eye. Release the attachments, but elevate those emotions. Do you want more fun, more joy, more wild woman, more peace, whatever it may be for you. Just sending it out into the universe. Holding that intention for you, just sitting in the energy, just feel this beautiful sun, golden light. If you're on Instagram, you'll see stars coming down. Just hold that energy for you for a moment, radiating the joy, the fun, the wildness of summer, patience, and just see all those many things coming in for you. Feel that difference. Feel that shift. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, sending it out and just starting to bring the awareness back, coming back, sealing in the energy, coming back, opening the eyes. All right, so we have some fun cards. We also, we have the justice card. We already, oh, I said it. We have the archetype energy coming up. That's the first time in all the 20 cards I've done that I've actually said it. Maybe you didn't hear it. All right. The first card coming up is the, <laughs> you just got to laugh, right? Give me some thumbs up for that one. All right. So the first card that comes up is the six of air, which is great because it's kind of what we're saying. As the mercury retrograde moves out, we're going to start to move into calmer waters. All right. It could be travel. All right. Travel is also associated with this card. All right. Maybe you're going to do some traveling as we go into this next month, into the next season. So that will help. And the thing I also like to mention about this card is it shows somebody else in there. So let people help you. All right, be guided. Let them help you. Let them take you with you or let them help ease if you're having a struggle of time or even travel. All right, 
Got a thumbs up there for telling. All right, so the first card, if you chose one or two or three, this is going to help you. I love this because it is the Empress card. All right, this is like cosmic, Mother Earth, ground, like just be one with Mother Earth, get out of the stars, get out on the earth, celebrate. Perfect as we move through this. And as you do these celebrations, do these rituals, you will feel better, especially in the mental capacity. The second one, we drew this this morning. This morning in the uh, boot camp, I drew for the summer. I did cards for the summer. And this is the exact card we drew in this position as well. So this is the four of fire. This is about celebration, about setting it all up, like getting things ready. Fours are about balance. But you also see like there are flags going up. There's a home. There's like a path leading up. So a lot of us will be able to go out and do some of this. Many of us, like me, have not seen your family. July in the summer will bring some of that in for you as well. All right, so set it up. Do it. Appreciate those that you can celebrate with. All right. The next card is the Two of Fire. And this is a great card, too, because this talks about, I feel like it's like the shift in the, and the movement, like pivoting. Like, okay, so we've had a lot of change. We've had a lot of stuff going on. Choose the way you want to go. Be direct. Choose that energy, and this will help you move forward as all of us start to make shifts, changes in our work, and open up to this new season. All right, we're going to move to nicer waters, clear the mind. Use the goddess energy to help you do that. Align with the moon, the stars, the sun. Celebrate. Get out and pull your energy together. A little fun, a little passion. Feel the balance coming back in, and then find that direction for you. Find the purpose. All right, and this is partly too. Some of that Capricorn energy is going to help you ask those questions. What is the purpose of my life? Not necessarily just your work, but like, where am I now? After everything that's been going on, what is that purpose? And where can I bring that forward in some of the work that I do? All right, take a breath. Let me know how that resonates with you. If you'd like a card, let me know. I'm going to check over here for comments. Let me know if you'd like a card. Again, this is the last week for the campaign. Get the cards while they are discounted. The workbook, the guides, the... What else do we have? We have some, we have a tarot class. We have readings, energy sessions, lots of fun stuff. Discounted. You can use them now. All right. Let me know if anybody would like a card. Hang out for a moment while it all catches up. Check out the podcast. We did have a good reading. I mean, a fun time talking about that. Very timely. Very interesting. Tomorrow for boot camp, 10 a.m., I will be offering live coach, live intuitive coaching. If you want to come on, talk about it. I can't figure out my Claire. I went through the videos. I don't know. Come on. I'm also going to be bringing some of my students on to talk about their journey and how much this has helped them in their life. 10 a.m. Definitely. All right. Let's see. Hey, Kate, how you doing? Diana card for you, too. On my way back from Mississippi. Oh, yay. Visiting her dad. Appreciate those dads. That's right. Happy Father's Day. All right. Diane and then Kate will get you. Diane, you got the four of there. So it kind of goes along with the other two. But this is a little bit more about like really definitely taking a, a time out. All right. Like the mental is a little bit much, the four, and you need to bring some balance back in. So this suggests that you really give your permi yourself permission to do some meditation, to shut down a little bit and rebalance, especially in the mental capacity. All right. Great card. All right. Kate. Kate, you got, actually, there's two stuck here. So the first one is the hair fund. All right, so this is that spiritual teacher. Like, check in with who you're giving your power away to. Come back to your spiritual teachings. You know some of this work. Check in with it for yourself. Maybe it's time to get a little more help, a little more guidance, all right? I'm always available for readings, for energy sessions. It's a beautiful time to do one now, clear up your energy. So this is a good reminder of your spiritual tools, all right? Definitely. All right, let's see, over here on Facebook, Mercedes and Janet. Hey, Janet, hey, Mercedes. All right, Mercedes, this one is for you. You got the Father of Air. What a beautiful card for Father's Day, all right? So this is about that energy, and maybe it's an influence you can bring in. Maybe it's the influence of your father right now, but it is someone who is very fair, very understanding, all right, and has that ability to balance both sides. So where is that influence for you? Because in our deck, in this Empowered Spirit deck, we take the king, queen, page, and knight and turn them into son, daughter, mother, father. And I always say on another level, check in with your father as well. 
all right, and see if there's any balance that he needs. But otherwise, it's an influence for your own self. Maybe where you're being overly critical, find the air, the balance, and that will help you as you move through this week. All right? How does that resonate? All right, Janet. Yes, you do need to schedule. Yes, that definitely resonates for you right now. Excellent, Diane. Nice. Okay. So, Janet, we got the Six of Earth, and this is a beautiful card. All right, Earth, uh, sixes are two threes. Earth is our pentacles. Earth is our grounding, our work. This will be a good card to work with that Capricorn full moon coming in. But you also see this is like things are building, all right? It's also always a good time to ask if you need any kind of collaboration, if you need people to come in and help you. But you see how beautiful it is. It still has more energy to grow. Things are working. Things are coming together on your path, all right? Very beautiful card. Lori did a beautiful job with this card as well. All right, let's see if there's any questions. Let me know how that settles for you. Yes, come in and schedule, Kate. It's really beautiful. Kate, we built a spiral walk in the back. You can walk the spiral. Definitely, we really love it. Our, um, no, we were going to have a fire circle last night, and it was so much rain. So much rain. Yes, definitely. And then I think this week I have I have classes, so I can't really do one. I'm teaching in, in, in one. So anyway, but we were going to try and do a storytelling around the fire circle. Definitely want to do that. Look for more to come up as we move through the summer. All right, everybody. Oh, that reminds me. I do have some announcements. I really do. All right. I am. Kate, you might be interested in this and anybody else in the Birmingham area. A Reiki self-care weekend. We are planning it today. We have some fun things scheduled. July um, 16th, we start at night. And then July 17th includes lunch, a fun day, fire circle, the spiral walk, meditation, Reiki practice with each other. We're even playing today with a foot bath. You'll see my Instagram post. So yes, definitely check it out. It is on my website. I'll be sending invites. August Reiki class. If you want to take a Reiki one class, that's coming up in August. Also on my website, the intuitive path program starts this week. We're going to start a setup of the sacred space and then move in to the other. Let me know if you want more information and then the monthly energy circle coming up as well. All of this on my new um, website and the Indigo campaign last week. All right, I have so much coming up. It's so great to get out and do this work. I love helping people understand their energy fields, definitely. Teaching from my heart for sure. So let's just close the energy on this beautiful summer solstice. And if you haven't had a chance, do a little ritual between now and tomorrow. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Gratitude for your spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for all the cosmos that keep us spinning and going. Thanks so much for joining me. Come get an energy session live or virtual or in person. To your spirit. Thank you. Namaste.